behaving. But as John O'Mahony was just saying there a few minutes ago, you could have a perfectly good car that could be heading towards uh, the NCT centre and you could find that it hits a pothole and then it'll fail the NCT because it's been damaged by the road you're driving on. Is it fair to expect people to have to pay for these NCTs to do it from next year, every year once a car is 10 years old, when you see the condition of many of the roads are in? Well, Matt, 47% of all of the accidents that were caused in, in 2007, um, or that happened in 2007, there were vehicles nine years or older uh, involved in those. So that's uh, the, the percentage of cars nine years or older on the roads um, uh, is nowhere near 47%. So I think that statistic itself uh, indicates that there are problems there in relation to older cars. What we're trying to do with the uh, test, <clears throat> it's a preventative measure. It's to try and ensure that uh, people keep their cars if they want to keep them. Nobody minds if they want to have a 10 or a 15 or a 20 or indeed a 30-year-old car on the road, provided it's safe, provided it doesn't cause a, a danger to yourself or others. And if John O'Mahony or Fine Gael are advocating that because of the condition of roads we should now abandon NCT tests, I think that's a very irresponsible attitude for him to take. OK, but I don't think he suggested that, but maybe there's a quid pro well, quo that if people are paying the motor tax and if the people are paying their vehicle registration tax when they buy a car and if they're paying their NCTs, don't they have a realistic expectation that the roads of the country are fit to drive on, that they're not potholed as we were hearing yesterday, but the length and breadth of the country and no effort made by the councils to repair them? Well, I think that would be very a, a very unfair criticism. We've had a, a very difficult winter, uh, which um, and, and the bad weather only has only just finished. Councils have been out uh, doing work. I think it's totally irresponsible to be suggesting because there's potholes on the road that people shouldn't um, uh, take care on the road, shouldn't ensure that they do their NCT or whatever else. So that's a kind of a double thing that's and a standard that I, I hope and and. Certainly, I haven't seen it displayed by other Fine Gael deputies, particularly the ones opposite me. Well, I'm not sure that's actually what has been actually suggested, but I think what people are suggesting is, is that there is a sort of a requirement that if people are being honest and law-abiding and turning up for their NCTs and paying their taxes, that the least that they can expect from the state then is to give them proper roads in which Matt, to drive, which don't damage Matt, their cars. Matt, the vast majority of the roads uh, up to this winter were uh, reasonable and in reasonable conditions. There's been massive of improvements in the in the roads in this country um, over the last ten years, um, we have a motorway system that nobody uh, that people said we'd never have. There's been major improvements in the county roads. We've spent over um, billions, I think about five billion, six billion, uh, up to this year on our county, local, and regional roads. Um, you're supposed to drive on roads at a speed appropriate to the condition. If you do that. If you go into a pothole at a proper speed, generally speaking, you won't do any untold damage. You won't make your car um, unfit for driving. So, um, you know, I, I, I just will not accept an attitude from John O'Mahony or any other uh, TD, Fine Gael or otherwise, that says, you know, there is an excuse for you not having a, a, a car in, in, in top condition. I just don't accept it. And to finish, Minister, are you, are you confident, are you happy that everything has been done to try and fix the potholes in this country? Everything hasn't been done yet because it would be quite impossible uh, to undo the damage of this winter uh, inside of four or five months, uh, or in, in fact, inside four or five weeks. I mean, that that is totally unreasonable. Um, the money has been provided. The councils indicated uh, that the damage caused by the weather would be uh, was in the region of 180, 190 million euro. I gave them 240 million euro over which they have have complete discretion to repair the roads that were damaged this year. But I, as much and all as I would like to see them done overnight, nobody has that kind of a magic wand. I think the councils are prioritising. It's uh, This isn't the best time of the year either to be trying to uh, do permanent jobs. What the councils are doing generally is uh, trying to repair uh, the damage, the immediate damage, trying to make them passable in, in some 
in, in a lot of circumstances and during the uh, finer weather which I hope we'll be having uh, over the next number of months they'll be able to go for more permanent solutions. I think uh, they're, they're doing their utmost to ensure that the roads are passable and they will continue and will repair the roads during the course of the year. Okay, but well, we'll see if that happens. To, well, to expect them to do it now within four or five weeks is totally unreasonable, I think.